Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a taste test on hydroponic tomatoes. So let's go take a look at the plant. We'll go pick a fruit and then we'll come back and try it out. And uh, let's see how good this is. All right guys, here are my two tomato plants grown completely in the small cracky hydroponic method. They've been there the entire life and they got to a point where they actually drink a lot more water than than before so this size container will allow the plant to uh, feed themselves for about three to four weeks until they get to this size that's when they start drinking a lot more so uh, for a water bottle right there you're gonna have to feed them probably every three to four days it they probably drink uh, the entire bottle and this one uh, has more so it will drink less so you have to feed the less. So anyway, the, the bigger the container, the better it is for tomatoes because they do drink a lot. Anyway, I was able to get them to produce beautiful fruits right here for plants so small. So uh, pretty good amount of fruits. They're, they're more down here. So uh, we have one that's ready and this other one here, as you can see, it's lacking light. So it's stretching all over the place. But that one has a fruit right here too. So there, there, see those flowers, those will um, become fruit. So there's the flowers there, flowers there. I mean, there are flowers on all of the branches. So I would get a lot of fruits for these tiny plants. So it's a very fun project to do. If you, if you can't, farm, uh, if you can't uh, garden outside, uh, you can try this method and uh, watch plants grow while, while you stay inside uh, nice and cozy. But anyway, today we are going to pick a fruit here and try it out and see how good this is. Okay, let's cut this one fruit here and we're going to give it a try. So I'm gonna cut that one off right here. Look at this nice, pretty tomato. So let's go ahead and try it out and see how good this is. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the tomato plant. They're very small and uh, grown completely in hydroponic the entire life. And the, uh, the nutrients that I used is the DynaGro. Uh, I will put more of the uh, instructions uh, and the mixing and all that stuff in the description below, so check there. Uh, it is a, uh, it's called the Kumato. And I actually have some Kumato tomato that I bought from the grocery store. And these are like way larger. And the one that I grew are like, like a, a, a third of the size. But um, the reason I grow these is because I, I really like the way they taste. They're very nice and thick, uh, the flesh on the inside. And uh, also they're slightly sweet, so they're very good with a salad and all that stuff. So that's why I decided to grow it. And uh, when you grow them in small containers, uh, they remain small. So the more space uh, you give the tomato and allow them to expand the roots, the larger the plants will get. So uh, most of you may be wondering why my plants are so small and they don't tip over. That's because uh, when the roots reach the bottom of the container, when they have nowhere else to go, then they start to produce. So uh, it's almost like they can sense that the space is small, so uh, it triggers the plant to start producing early. Um, now, I don't know that scientifically, but uh, through all of my tests and uh, experience in the grow, uh, the different types of grow that I do, uh, that's what I have observed. So uh, anyway, Let's take a closer look at the tomato. We'll cut it open and then I'll show you what they look like inside. And then I will also show you uh, a comparison between what we bought at the grocery store.
All right, guys, let's give these a taste and see how good this is. This is the hydroponic tomato that I just picked. So we'll try this one first. Wow. Man, this is really good. Tastes just like a normal tomato. You can't tell the difference. Uh, very nice flavor. A little crunchy. Uh, you get that, that tomato taste. Uh, a little tangy and then sweetness. Very pleasant. There's no way you can tell this is a hydroponic tomato. Or at least I can't. Wow, that's very good. I'm going to try the other halves. Mmm. Very good flavor. That's that's the, actually the taste that I that I prefer when I bought these Kumato tomatoes. Okay. Let's try these uh, the grocery store one and see if there's any difference. It's a slight difference, but the the taste is very similar. It didn't have the the kind of tangy tomato flavor. Maybe because this is a a bit more ripe. Same skin texture. They're both pretty meaty, except this is much larger. <laughs> Wow, they're both they're both really good. I can't I can't tell the difference really. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my tomato my tomato grown hydroponically, and uh, the one I bought at the grocery store. I'm not sure how they they grew that, but um, they taste very similar to me. I kind of like the one in hydroponic because uh, I picked it at a perfect stage. I mean, it wasn't too ripe, so there, it's very nice and crunchy. Uh, this other one here is a little softer, so I, I prefer the, the crunchiness. Uh, most of the tomato, like the Roma one, I like to eat them when they're green. So I, in my opinion, that's, that's just for me. Um, that's, that's the way I like to eat them with um, my burgers and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, um, if you have some sort of lighting uh, available, uh, try the method out. It's very fun. Um, if you can't grow outdoor, definitely uh, just try the, the cracky method tomato. Uh, pick something that won't grow too large uh, and try to miniaturize it by uh, starting it out in a small container and then uh, allow the roots to reach the, the capacity of that small container then put it into a larger container. Uh, you have to monitor the level of your water because you don't want to drown the roots. Uh, it's basically how uh, hydroponic cracky work. Uh, you have to allow a little bit of an air gap. And I explain this in a lot of my videos. And I also actually I made a video on this particular tomato plant uh, recently. So I will link you guys so you can check it out and see how I did it. And uh, I hope you try it out and let me know if you have any success. And uh, if you can tell the difference between uh, hydroponic tomatoes and uh, soil tomato, please comment below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.